loves and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a different background. Because I am in Miami and we're gonna do my duty free shopping haul. So I tried to do some filming so I could like vlog my duty free shopping and I was only able to get some like little clips in Dubai duty free and Paris it was like impossible. There were so many like sales associates. I wasn't really able to film because I would have been like told off. So I figured I would just do a haul and show you what I got. I'll play the Dubai duty free reels here and I'm about to go to the beach. So this is going to be a really quick one and it's not quite a true unboxing because I did film this I'm on my iPhone because I'm traveling right now. So I wasn't able to see like the frame and it was just so off. So I'm refilming this. Let's just get right into it. The first item I have is from Gucci in the Dubai Duty Free. This is the only luxury item I bought. I went and got the Gucci logo tights. Let's see if I can get this to show on camera, but they have like the logo print on there. I was always one that said I would never buy the tights, but since I found them duty free and they were such a good price, I decided that I would go for them because I really love the look of the designer logo tights. And I did check in Chanel, they didn't have the Chanel ones available, of course, but I thought to find them even in Gucci because they're still quite popular was a really great deal. Now we'll get into my duty free Paris shopping and we'll start with the best. I picked up a Chanel bag. Now, a tiny little backstory before I unbox this. I have definitely said on my channel before that this is a bag that I would probably never buy. And there are a couple of reasons why I went for this. The duty-free price was much better than the retail price. It came out to be about $300 less than the US retail price. So I felt a little more okay with it. Another reason is, is that if I don't get on with this bag, like I hope I do, then what they're going for on the pre-love market, I could make money on this bag. I did not buy this to sell it, and I'm hoping that I do get on with this bag because I love the color, but that was just something in my mind that if I don't get on with it, like I hope I do, I can get my money back out of this bag. So let me just get right into it, and then I'll explain a little more. But here we go. I found, I cannot believe I found this. This is the 21P Neon Pink Chanel Mini. This color didn't even hit stores in Dubai. In the Dubai Duty Free, they had no bright color bag. In Paris Duty Free, they had the most gorgeous, vibrant, beautiful summer bags. They had the Tiffany blue one from this collection that was in the medium size. I saw this, I was just like, oh my goodness, this color. I couldn't believe it. In my Coco Handle, I'll link the video up here of my unboxing there. I used a personal shopper to get my Coco Handle from this same collection because they didn't even hit stores in Dubai. And even though I was on the wish list, I didn't get offered a piece from this collection. So I could not believe that I saw this. They had two wallet on a chains and they had, I think it was a small size. I don't think it was a medium. It was a small or a medium. I'm not quite sure, but I couldn't believe I saw this color in person and they had it. and. I tried it on and I was just like, you know what? This color is it. I pulled out pictures of my other pinks. I have nothing like this pink from my Chanel collection. I figured this would be the perfect pink mini. I've always wanted a pink mini. They don't do caviar anymore. And I did try, they had a pink and green tweed. I already have a tweed mini in blue and I just felt that two tweed minis was like too redundant in my collection. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give this a go. And what I really liked about it is, is now Chanel has a new five year warranty on your bag. So if anything does go wrong, if something needs to be replaced, it's done for free. So I felt more comfortable knowing like the resale prices of the mini, having the warranty, and that I know this is a very desirable bag that if I don't get on with this, I could sell it on. Though I'm really hoping that I do get on with it because I've always wanted a pink rectangular mini in my collection, and I think this is the most gorgeous shade. Here it is up close. You can see the silver hardware, which typically I prefer gold, but I think on this color pink, gold would be like a lot. On the inside, this, we have the open space. Now, this one is still with authenticity card because it is the previous collection. Chanel has now moved to the plaques. I did see some bags in the shop with those little um, plaques that have the information like encoded. They were like the darker bags from the more like new collection. So 
This is a 31 series. It's from the 21P collection. I don't remember the color code. I don't give you the tag with the SKU number and the color code and everything on there, which is really annoying. I should have taken a picture of it, but I'm really sorry I forgot. But it's not the color code from the one in my 21P Coco Handle unboxing. It's the other pink. So I made sure that they were completely different. They had different color codes before I bought it. I just forgot to remember the color code for you guys. So I'm really sorry about that. Now we'll get into some of the smaller items and items from other brands that I got. And I actually scored one more item from Chanel, but this item, I passed on this in the Dubai Duty Free. I was going to my London trip back in October and I regretted it like every day when I passed on it. So we'll just unbox and I will show you. I'm so excited for these, you guys. It's such a classic item. So I picked up these gold CC stud earrings. I have some vintage, like bigger earrings in my collection. I have a necklace and I have a ring. So this kind of rounds out my Chanel costume jewelry collection. I really only buy the gold pieces, kind of known that the crystal pieces or the pearl pieces can fall apart. So I'm so happy that I managed to get my hands on these and they're the perfect size because I have all these other piercings. But now I'm quite happy with my Chanel costume jewelry collection and maybe the only thing I could add if I found one that I liked is maybe a bracelet. I think this really completes it for quite a while until I just find the next perfect piece. I'm not one who likes to get a ton of costume jewelry. So this was just the perfect pair at a great price. I believe with the tax exempt, it came to 304 euros and normally they're like 350 euros. The price is really good on these and I think that you know duty free is the best way you can buy the Chanel jewelry because it is costume jewelry at the end of the day so I felt much better that I was able to score this duty free. Now I have one small item from Gucci. This is something that I tried to get in Dubai back when I bought my last bag from the Kin Scott Gucci collection and this is just the Twilly from the Kin Scott Gucci collaboration collection. I think this is perfect and it'll match my bag and I'm really happy to have this. This was sold out in Dubai. The price of this was 145 euros, which was a great price, especially compared to the Dubai price, which I'll pop up here on the screen. I'm so happy I found this. I'll also use this like in my hair. I love the colors, the purple. I'm so into this purple right now. And with my Chanel bag, this would look so cute. I don't mind mixing brands with Twilies. This is one that I will get a lot of use out of because there's so many bright colors and it'll match a ton of my bags. I picked up a couple of Hermes makeups. Oh, by the way, I got self tanner on my hands and it's stained, so please excuse that. I know it looks so gross. They get the Hermes makeup. This was in the Paris Duty Free shop, not the Hermes shop itself. Hermes makeup is pretty pricey and I always thought if I ever get it, I only wanna get it if it's duty free or I can get like that return when I'm traveling because it's not a makeup that I think, you know, I'm gonna buy multiple of, but it's really nice to have just like one or two pieces. And I found the colors I wanted and everything. So this is the lipstick. It's the color, the number is 42 Rose Mexicu. I'm probably saying that wrong. I'm really sorry. I'm terrible at pronunciation. But here is the packaging. It has the beautiful logo up here. This is very heavy packaging, very well made, and it's magnetic. This is the color. I think it's so stunning. Like, this is the perfect summer color, like a really bright, gorgeous summer color. I have worn this a couple of times because I wanted to try it out before I like told you if it was worth it or not. I think this is only worth it if you like a creamy lipstick. You're, it's a normal lipstick. It's not a long wearing lipstick. It's like, you know, if you eat, it comes off. Um, over time, you're gonna have to reapply. It's a traditional lipstick. It's not a liquid lipstick. So if you like liquid lipstick, I would say avoid this. But if you like a creamy lipstick and you just want something a little like bougie and nice to pull out of your handbag, you could go for one of these. Packaging is refillable, so it's nice and eco-friendly in that way. If you find a color you love and this is your one fancy lipstick and you just refill it, I think that's a great practice versus buying, you know, the lipstick where you have to throw the whole thing away. And I do believe it's a bit cheaper when you get the refills versus the initial one. I think there's like, there was also like a cloth sleeve. Clearly I've already lost it. I don't know, I wouldn't put my lipstick in a sleeve. Like I just put it in my purse like this. So 
Yeah, it comes with a lot of packaging, but I just kept the little orange boxes because I thought they were really cute. And I also got a blush, which I was really excited about because I loved the packaging of this. I thought it was so beautiful. And I got color number 32, rose, I don't know how to say this, guys. So it's number 32. And this is the color. It's just like a nice light to medium pink. This is gonna be a great everyday blush for my typically very pale skin. So they have a beautiful range of colors as well. And this is also refillable. Last item I got was from Hermes from the actual Hermes store in the duty free. Now I tried to get the Oran sandals yet again. They're apparently transitioning season. So they had more like neutral and dark colors. There were no bright colors in my size. I was like, oh, yet again, I even tried in Miami, no bright colors in my size. So this trip has been another fail at trying to get Oran sandals in my size in a bright color. I've been doing this for like two years. Every time I travel, I go into an Hermes store or the duty free and they never have my size. So I got something else. This is their eco-friendly packaging. I asked for this because I could fold it easily and fly with it. Otherwise the box they wanted to give me was like this long for this item. And I said, no way. I just don't have room for that in my hand carry. So I got, a scarf. This is a 140 by 140 centimeter silk scarf. The design in the middle is like this cheetah chasing a monkey. But why I liked this is because I've been looking for this size of scarf in a pink, like light color for summer. Cause I have my Louis Vuitton one that's more of like a fall winter color that I wear with my coats. And I've always loved this size cause you can make a top out of it. You can wear it as a beach sarong, but these colors are more of what I wear at the beach. I always thought I'd get a Louis Vuitton one, but it seems like they do more darker colors for this size of scarf. And I just fell in love with the colors of this. So I went for the Hermes one. And this is kind of a rough idea of how it looks on. If you just kind of twirl it around, obviously I'll, do it properly when I actually wear it, but just to show you how the colors kind of mix when you wear it. I think it's really beautiful and it feels amazing. I mean, the silk is like outstanding, it really is. So that is what I picked up from Hermes. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe because I will have a Miami outlet shopping video coming soon. Show you all the designer deals that I got at the outlet mall. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram to see how I style my bags. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.